I am here under oath to answer the committee's questions truthfully and to offer the American people what I know about President Trump. Michael Cohen is a guy who is going to prison in two months for lying to Congress. I, I don't believe that Michael Cohen is capable of telling the truth. You're a pathological liar. I have lied, but I am not a liar. Michael Cohen's credibility was on trial during his momentous hearing. His testimony, if believed, could have major implications to the Trump presidency. He's only been threatened by the truth. So how do we ourselves decide if this proven liar is telling the truth? You can't. This is professor and author David Smith. He literally wrote the book on lying. I write on this kind of shit all the time, yeah. So we decided to ask him, how can we know for certain if Cohen is telling the truth? There's no objective, foolproof way of telling whether someone's lying or not, especially someone who's skilled in the art of impression management. By his own admission, Michael Cohen has lied for Donald Trump for 10 years. He knows how to handle impression management. And someone very skilled in this craft could easily pass, say, a polygraph test or body language checks. Polygraph detects stress. It doesn't detect lies. There's no real science of body language. Someone who seems calm, self-possessed, and self-assured may just be a very, very good liar. We can't place our hopes in science delivering a foolproof way of determining whether or not someone is telling the truth. So how do we ever know who's telling the truth and who's not? Their word just isn't good enough. We need evidence. We need corroboration. We need documentation. Luckily for Cohen, there's a lot of documentation. I am providing the committee today with several documents. A copy of a check Mr. Trump wrote from his personal bank account, copies of financial statements, and copies of letters I wrote at Mr. Trump's direction. But even hard evidence can also be open to interpretation, scrutiny, and reasonable doubt. Obviously, Mr. Chairman, the witness may produce documents that he suggests incriminates the president, yet he lies to banks. All of those lies were done on fraudulent documents, documents that he forged. Nothing he says or produces has any credibility. Even something as objective as an audio recording is subject to reasonable doubt, making people question what they're hearing and what they're seeing. Well, the fact is that the president does bring up cash, but he says don't pay with cash. Listen to the tape. It says cash. We live in a world where spin in the media is pervasive. People find it difficult to know what to believe. We are in search of the truth. The president has made many statements of his own. And now the American people have a right to hear the other side. They can watch Mr. Cohen's testimony and make their own judgment. It turns out that judging for ourselves may be the worst way to find the truth. So some people think, just go with your gut. Unfortunately, that's a very treacherous way of determining whether someone's lying or not because it plays right into confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is the tendency to interpret evidence as confirmation of one's existing beliefs. So if you're the sort of person who wants to see Donald Trump taken down, you're going to naturally be inclined to give Michael Cohen the benefit of the doubt despite his track record. By the same token, if you're a fan of Donald Trump, then you are going to be inclined to be very, very suspicious of the truthfulness of Cohen's claims. This force is so strong that we'll believe just about anything to enforce our worldview. We'll even lie to ourselves. And there may be no better example of this than Cohen's testimony. Republican members of Congress use their time to discredit Cohen based on his history of deception. But there's no truth with you whatsoever. That's why that's important to you, to look up here and, and look at the old adage that our moms taught us, liar, liar, pants on fire. No one should ever listen to you and give you credibility. And Democrats thanked Cohen for speaking the truth regarding Trump. You want to talk about an agenda? My friends on the other side of the aisle refused to bring any of these people up before the committee. So today, for the first day, we have one witness who voluntarily is coming forward to testify. Your side ran away from the truth, and we're trying to bring it to the American people. When our precious worldviews are under threat, it's so easy for us to lie to ourselves, to form a false picture, to let our biases take over. As human beings, we're natural born liars. We're all biased, we're all self-serving, we all deceive ourselves. 
And the only way that we can really guard against this is to understand that we are all vulnerable to self-deception. The entire Trump presidency is on the line with Cohen's testimony. And regardless of his veracity, it looks like this hearing has done little more than push two opposing worldviews deeper into the sand. 